Hello everyone, Dan Gabriel here with the Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac. First post of the race is a refresher for everyone on race tracking. So right now I'm on the home page for the race, which is cycracetomackinac.com. In the top center, you're going to see race tracking. If you click that link, you're going to launch Yellow Brick. There are partners for GPS race tracking on this event. When that pops up, you're going to see what we see here is a whole cluster of boats. Um, some on shore and a whole group moving north up the lake. That's our cruising division. They actually just took off about two hours ago. Um, all the other boats that are on shore in the harbor, that's our racing division. They'll take off tomorrow. So we'll check in on the cruisers here in a minute, but just wanted to go over some of the options and some of the uh, navigation tools that we have on, on online here. So if you open up Teams on the left-hand side, first thing you'll see is a big long list of all the entrants. Um, you can scroll through this or you can also filter. So if you go show class selector, right now I have them all highlighted. So that's why we see so many boats out on the water. So if you start to deselect, you can, let's see if we can get this down just to cruising, say. Um, <clears throat> oops. This is kind of cumbersome, but I don't think you have to do this twice once you're in. So now we have just the cruisers. Uh, this is both cruising one and cruising two and all cruising. So we can just cr check maybe cruising two uh, just for fun. So that frees up the, uh, the list down here just to so the group in cruising two. So you can just check in on them. That's who shows up on the map. Uh, as you increase to cruising one, now you're going to have all the cruisers uh, showing up. If you need to look up somebody specifically, you can just type them in here. I'll type up confluence. So there you go. If you find your friends and you want to make them your favorites, you can also just highlight the uh, star on the left side. And then if you deselect everyone except for favorites, then you'll just see the people that you have uh, starred. So that's a way to filter all the boats and who you see. Um, I think for this exercise, we'll take the whole cruising group. <clears throat> Up here on the top, we have some zoom options on the left. Uh, they're, they're pretty intuitive. You can click through them and check what they do. Personally, I like to just scroll. Uh, you scroll up and down with your mouse, you go in and out. If you grab, you can just drag. Uh, so that's kind of how I get around, but there are some other tools for that. The map and overlay options, you can turn on and off the lat long lines. You can toggle from day and night. Um, this just turns the water dark at nighttime if you have it on. Uh, the red line is our rum line. So that is our straight line up to Mackinac. Well, straight line is in shortest distance. Uh, to get to Mackinac. You can turn that on and off. I like to have it on, personally. Um, we'll get more into uh, some tactics on a later post. Um, but then you can kind of judge how close they are to the rum line, if they're left, if they're right. There's probably a good reason for that, so we'll get into some of that later. You can turn on and off wind data. This is just a forecasting mechanism to show you. You can scroll forward to see where wind will be at a certain time. Uh, so there's several models for this. Personally, I don't buy into one particular one. I usually look at a couple. So it's interesting to see what this has to offer compared to the other reports that are out there. Uh, turning the track, <coughs> excuse me, tails and tails on and off just is the tail behind the boats. So you can turn that on and off. And then map style. So you can do satellite, person like satellite with cities. It gives you a good reference of where everyone is. So that's about it on the, the, uh, formatting of, this, of the site. Um, you'll notice here, one of the additions this year here is the, the tweets. So you can see these little tweets that show up all along the course. And I believe this is where the tweet actually occurred. So you can open up the social media on the right and you can see who's tweeting what. And then you can also click on tweets from the race course. So here's one from Infinite Diversion. Code zero hijinks, set it a flu. <laughs> the Lumar block in the base and the mass blew up. So they're, they're having some fun, sounds like. Uh, but it's interesting to see because they'll give you some updates on what they're actually going through. So if you know anyone with a uh, with a tweeting device on this race, then you get to hear what they do up the up the race course. Um, so as you can see, we'll zoom in here on the uh, the actual group. Seems everyone's going up the left side of the race course. So like I said, they're left of rum. <coughs> so they're taking what um, I saw earlier also in the the weather forecast that left side might pay a little bit better. Certainly in um, into today, into tomorrow morning. Looks like the right side of the course is going to be a little lighter on wind, but we'll get into that report maybe a little later. So they're zipping up the left side. We can check in on some speeds. 
So it looks like infinite diversion is popping out in front. You can see their uh, stats here if you hover over the boat. So speed 8.7 knots <clears throat> at 13 degrees. Uh, and then you can see skipper, owner information, and distance to finish. So that's, that's straight line distance to finish. They'll likely sail more distance than that, but it's a reference reference point. Um, the, the places, I would, I would use these with caution. These are heavily projected, and so they, they could change an awful lot. So I wouldn't go too deep into to that, but it is a good uh, point reference to see what they are and how they're doing at the moment. So there's our group. Um, there is a leaderboard. As I just said, don't pay attention to that leaderboard. There is a leaderboard, but you should know what this, uh, this information is. <clears throat> On the left side, it has the team. So right now, Free at Last is in first in all cruising. So it shows their start time, their distance to finish, their current VMG, and then their estimated time to finish. And I believe that is a, a, an estimate on the straight line distance to finish and their average VMG. So again, that just <coughs> estimated time to finish is not necessarily the place they'll be in. Corrected elapsed time is a, another projection that takes into account the ORR, ORR offshore time on time scoring uh, correction. So this is a little more accurate, but again, it's still projecting and they've got a long ways to go. So keep looking at that. It gets better as the race goes on. So that's what I've got for now. Uh, we'll check in later with a, a post later this evening with more weather and more, more and where the teams are. So take care.